Right, so just a quick video <coughs> about Big Cheese Rat Trap and a pretty much a 100 year old trapping method, probably longer than that, but um, and I've previously done a video about building a run through rat trap box where you put kill traps in it and Mark Covell had recommended was that in the day he was using gin traps but as they're illegal now you got to make substitutions so two of the substitutions for rats would be killing snap traps or fen traps well, I wanted to use something easy so a uh, snap trap and you build your box you put your snap trap in it so that it's the, the rat can see straight through the tunnel and will pass through it but stand on the treadle and get killed. Now you put this by a wall and it's always set by a wall where a rat will run along. Like I said, I've previously done a video um, about this or building the box showing you it. And I'd set it up um, in a garage which had rats. So I just thought I'd just show you, I'll show you some more footage in a minute of one I caught. Because I know a lot of people seem to doubt these, um, but they do seem to work pretty good. Now the one I caught was a fairly, it wasn't a massive rat, it was you know probably a juvenile, not a tiny baby one or nothing, but you know definitely wasn't a full size large rat. But, and that is that so the big cheese ultra power rat trap and it kind of comes like that on the packet so i'll show you that footage now i'd put a rat trap in that box just there hoping that the rat will come running along here and go through it just there and i'll show you what i've got I forgot how the torch was fairly dark in here. There you go. Got that one. Seemed like it got him pretty good as well. So those traps definitely seem to work good it looks like a a young rat to me though, it's not a full size one definitely and then to get these out just pull them out and then you ain't got a dead rat on it. Push that down again. And then put it back in there. And that definitely seemed to be a good trap. You can see by how much it's crushed him. Just there. Yeah, so as you could see, I'd caught a rat. Like I said, it wasn't a massive one. Um, definitely a rat, not a mouse. Um, and the, the trap had really kind of squashed down on him. Now these traps do have teeth there. Like recess, recesses at the bottom for these teeth to go into. Small teeth there. Large teeth at the top. What really seemed to cling on to it then. Got a fair bit of power in them. But the main thing I'd wanted to try was Mark Hovell's method of setting a run through box on a rat's run. And the other trick to it is, is if it's on the run, you should never ever have to bait it. Now these traps do come pre-baited. And um, I'd left the bait in there to be honest, but the way you set them up, with a run through box. It's got to be against the wall where they can run through and they have to be able to see through it. Um, 
If it's set up like this, you shouldn't need to put bait in. But I just left it on anyway because I thought there's no point trying to scrape it off. But if it ever disappears, then just leave it. You don't need to replace it because that's the whole point. And his method also was, bits I'm missing out, was that you would just leave these traps all the time. Not when you think there's rats or there might have been rats. All the time, always leave them there. If rats had been in a building, always leave them all year round. And he'd even devised boxes that had like little levers that come up to show you they'd set off and everything. But anyway, yeah, just thought I'd just show you that and some results. Um, and just one other thing I just want to say, thank you to everyone who wished me happy birthday the other day. I really do appreciate that. And um, sorry I haven't been commenting much lately. It's just when you let them build up, you know, as you know, I keep saying, I've got over a thousand videos on YouTube and quite a lot of them still get comments. And even if they're only getting one comment on each one, that's a lot of comments to go through and then you have a hard time replying to people. You'll feel a bit bad for replying to some and not others. So I end up most of the time just liking all the comments and not replying to anyone for a while. But, you know, I always read the comments and I always do appreciate it. Um, and also someone asked me the other day about a book. Funny thing is, I've nearly finished another book, what I'm doing. And it's going to be about deadfall traps. Right, anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you later.